My name is Maithili Prakash. I'm from Los Angeles. I was born and brought up here. I began dancing at a really young age because my mom was a dancer and performer and she had started a school in Los Angeles. When I turned five, I officially joined classes. Bharatanatyam is the classical dance form of South India. We believe that it was danced by the gods and it was passed to us in the form of scriptures and holy texts. Bharatanatyam uses the body to transcend the body. There's so much going on starting from your feet, to your legs, to your waist, to your shoulders, to your fingertips. Every part of your body is in unison moving. That's what all these years of practice are for, to you know find that, that one train of consciousness that takes you through. First thing you learn when you're studying Bharatanatyam is Nirta, which is body technique that incorporates footwork, movement of the limbs, and hand gestures. We start learning with building blocks called Aravus, which are like steps, and they build from the simpler ones to the higher and more complex. Rhythm is a very, very key essential component um, in Bharatanatyam. Tala is like a cycle of, of beats that form the parameters of whatever dance we're doing. Abhinay is a mode of expression that uses facial expressions with the aid of stylized hand gestures, like a form of mime. In Abhinaya, a dancer dances to a padam, which is a lyrical piece in which the dancer uses the words or the lyrics of the line and builds upon that creatively. One particular padam is Idevira, which features an angry woman, a Kandita Naika. Naika has been waiting all night for her lover. And he hasn't shown up, and finally when he does, he looks really disheveled, and so she says to him, Do I need more evidence than this? Oh, it's nothing, it's nothing, so you say. And you're filled with lots of excuses. But you don't think I know? Get out. That's the basic line. So within that, I can show different, I can show 
different forms of evidence. You know, what am I seeing on him that, that makes him look so disheveled? And what kinds of excuses is he giving me? So I'd say, your hair, which is usually so neat, is completely disheveled. What happened? Oh, it was a windy night that messed your hair up? Hmm. Good. Nice excuse. You see the door? Natya is the dramatic or theatrical element of Bharatanatyam in which stories are enacted. There is one piece called the Panchali Shabdam, which enacts a game of dice. A king named Yudhishthira gambles away his entire kingdom and finally at the end, with nothing left to stake, he stakes his wife, Queen Draupadi. In this particular scene, Dushasana comes into her chamber and says, you better get going, you're a servant now. And he grabs her by the hair and pulls her into court and throws her on the floor, a queen that's been treated like a servant. She's completely humiliated and enraged. The process of a performance is really about focusing your mind. And so when you let that free on stage, it definitely elevates you to another level of consciousness. This is an ideal goal. It's not like every moment your mind isn't wandering. If there are moments where you are completely focused, then that it is an accomplishment in itself.